In high school geometry courses, sometimes we are asked to draw a similarity transformation or a size transformation. These questions look like the four questions I have here. The first thing you need to know about a size transformation is that you have to look at the k value because it tells you a lot about what the answer is going to look like. Here, k is equal to negative 2. What does the k value tell me? The fact that it's negative means that the copy of my shape is going to end up on the other side of the zero dot, the origin, from where the original is. Therefore, in this one, k equals negative one third, the copy of this shape is going to end up over here on the other side of the zero dot. In this one, it's k equals one half, it's positive. That means the copy is going to land on the same side of the zero dot as the original is. And over here, same thing. k equals 3, it's positive. The copy is going to land on the same side of the origin. The next thing you notice about your k value is its size. If it's larger than 1, like this 2, then it means that the copy is going to be larger than the original. In fact, it's going to be twice as large as, as the original because k equals negative 2. It also tells you that the copy is going to be twice as far from the zero dot as the original. So, knowing that k equals negative 2, I know that my copy is going to be twice as large and twice as far from the zero dot and on the other side of the zero dot. It tells me a lot about my drawing. Here, k equals negative a third. I know the copy is going to be on the other side of the zero dot. It's going to be about one third as big and it's going to be one-third as far from the origin as the original was. Here where k equals one-half, it's going to land on the same side, it's going to be half as big as the original, and it's going to be half as far from the origin as the original was. And here where k equals three, it's going to be on the same side, it's going to be three times as big as the original, and it's going to be three times as far from the origin as the original. Now, how do we draw these? We start with the ruler, and I'm going to start by showing how to draw the negative size transformations first. You line up your ruler at one of the vertices of the original drawing, and you make sure the edge of the ruler goes to the zero dot, and then you draw a line from the original vertex through the zero dot, and you keep going. You do this with all of your vertices. From the original vertex through the zero dot, and keep going. From the original vertex through the zero dot and keep going. Now we have to measure the distance between one of the vertices. I'm going to start with vertex B and the origin. Vertex B is four centimeters from the origin. Since k equals negative two, I ignore the negative sign during this part. I multiply that four centimeters by two. 4 times 2 is 8, so I want to be 8 centimeters from the origin. This is where the line comes in handy because I can slide the ruler along the line so that the zero of the ruler is on the origin, and then I count 8 centimeters and I put a dot. This is my copy of vertex B, and I'm going to call it B prime. Vertex A is 4.5 centimeters from the origin. I multiply that by 2 and I get 9. So I slide the ruler along the line, I zero the ruler on the origin, and at a point 9 centimeters from the origin, I put my new vertex and I call that A prime. Vertex C is 3 centimeters from the origin. I slide the ruler along the line, zero the ruler on the origin, 3 times 2 is 6, so I want to go 6 centimeters from the origin, and I put a dot, and that's my C prime. All that's left at the end is to connect the dots of the copy shape. I connect C prime to B prime, B prime to A prime, C prime to A prime, and I have my copy. It's like I predicted. 
It's on the other side of the origin. It's twice as big as the original, and it's twice as far from the origin as the original was. Now, in my grade 7 technical drawing course, this sort of drawing would not have gotten me a 10 on 10. But in the geometry course where you're asked to do a size transformation, this drawing should easily get you a 10 on 10.